day. Do you remember a paper's car? We were stuck in here for about three hours. Do you remember a paper's car? Oh. The stolen car, which never told anybody about until we got pulled by the old bill. <laughs> Did you know this car was stolen? No, no, no. <laughs> no yeah. He's coming back tonight and we're all asleep in the car and he goes, come on boys, you're coming down the station, that's what for? And he goes, the car's nicked. An old pair for a changed number plate tonight and not to told us tonight, you know. But they kept us in there all night and let us go. But they, <coughs> he was decent though, because like the old pair was decent, like, you know, they'd nothing to do with it and all that. Which we didn't know, you know. He ain't even been in the court for that yet, has he? No, he's still the man, isn't he? Do you want to sort of stay in the middle? Don't you? you know, don't have a car force around. It's too long ago. Uh, Wardle Street's up there, yeah? Uh, we'll see if we get a place up Wardle Street. Uh, I, I should have You can park up there quite easily, just past the market in a bit. There's plenty of places up there. Yeah. This kid's a uh, rock there on a push bike. It's all right. <laughs> Boy, she's trying to marry. She's trying to marry. Who? I see, I don't know. She's still living with an old fucking spastic jack, though, isn't she? Wow. I want to beat him up with her, I see. Fuck you, Roy. See that one, Roy. Never had a job, never had a car. You left school, but you didn't get that far. Always on a dull, never had work. Cheers, Maggie, I feel a jerk. One of Maggie's millions, the national debt gets more. 
She must be forking out billions to carry on feeding the poor. You can meet us all over the place, saying the country's a big disgrace. What we need is another war. Let off the atom bomb, kill the poor. Get me a job, get me a car, buy me a lager wrap at the bar. All I want is a normal life, free of debts and worry and strife. Peace, war is hazardous to your health. There are no winners in a war, everyone loses something. Yeah, all right. Graffiti massage. Most skinheads stick together, you know what I mean? It's something to identify with. And that's why a lot of people don't like skinheads, because they're frightened, because they realise that they are a force, you know what I mean? That they all stick together. Jeans. So if I just put a bit of bleach in there, I'd go white again, wouldn't I? <laughs> yeah, right. I'm just putting, I'm just putting my jeans in with this stuff, all right? And then he's putting all his whites in with mine, all his white socks and T-shirt. Oh, I won't find a bleach. I can't wear mine anymore. Wear what? My bleach is too. Why not? Too short, mate. Ellie <laughs> works, isn't it? I'd say it's like music first, and then girls, you know what I mean? Uh, I don't, you know, football and all that, you know, going out of your mates and all that. Violence just doesn't really come into it, you know. It's just nobody talks about it. The papers pull out the violence being too much, you know what I mean? Nice t-shirts, innit? We're both adopted, like me and my brother. Because, like, she was only 16, and, like, 1959, it weren't on a thing like unmade mother of 16. So, like, she ran away to Brighton, and I was born, and uh, I was uh, up for adoption. And uh, in those days, right, uh, my, my dad had been, uh, he'd been working in Edinburgh University with x-rays. And the doctor told them that, you know, better be careful not to have children in case they were deformed. So, like, they adopted me and then they adopted my brother. So, um, he, he just comes around and, you know, slags off my mum whenever he comes around, you know, shouts at her and all that. Because he's learned all these new words at college or whatever, you know, he thinks he's really big. He, used to, he, he, went, he went to Charterhouse. I went to a good school, got expelled though. I went to Safer College. I hated it. kept going down, the lad and my brother kept going up, sort of thing. Everything I did was worse, and he always kept doing better things. It was sort of like split, I went one way, he went the other way. I'm the black sheep of the family, but I'm the most loved, sort of thing, you know what I mean? Oi, is that all I'll get for 10p? <laughs> I'll bang it. Can you bang it, the 10p's gone through. Yeah, we'll put it under and bang it well. Oh, it's empty. <laughs> <laughs> Can you fill it up? No. Can you fill it up? Yeah, we've got no soap family now. We have to go and buy soap family now. <laughs> <laughs> um, when I was at this public school, you know, I, the, the way they teach you, that they teach you is that you're never going to be on the dole. You're never going to be poor, you know what I mean? They teach you so that when you leave school, you've got this... You feel... You, you, you look down on everybody, you know what I mean? I mean, like, my, my brother goes around calling people plebs and working class and all that, which is really pathetic, you know. That's how he's brought up, you know, it's really... It makes me sick. I laugh at him, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'll see the head boy that was at the school. I'll beat him up. Look, excuse me. There's only a little bit of colour on that, that'll be right, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, you take that chance. <laughs> you take that chance, but you're using bleach, my love. You take that for the chance. Oi, go and get some powder, will you? Real small, cheap powder out of the car. Well, it gets really cheap, mate. Yeah.
Then, then I got this guy who went to this sort of like special school. Seven people in the class. Then, then a lot of, I sort of, when I left that, you know, I sort of like fell in with the wrong crowd of people, you know? And sort of, uh, sort of thieving and all that. And uh, me and my mate got drunk one night and uh, we was going to burgle our next door, my, my next door neighbours. So I, I ended up burgling my mum, like, nicking the money out of her house. Yeah, I got sort of caught and everything. I got two years probation. And uh, I got two years probation and I was sort of like put in care in the hostel. All right. Okay. All right. I, I think I think all this thing about adoption is bad because I mean, so, somebody's bothered to adopt you and look after you for twenty odd years, you know what I mean? And care for you and all that and love you like their own child. What's the point of going, sort of just kicking them in the face and going to find your real parents? I mean, I wonder sometimes. You know, but I'd, ne I'd never go there. And my mum was sixteen, my real mum. I mean, so I adopt your mum now. I watch you about fifty-five. So, <laughs> Yeah, my room was 16 as well. Was, I don't know where she is now. I don't know, I don't care. Sorry, is that where you try to run like shit? I don't mind as long as I've got a roof over my head, I suppose. Huh? As long as I don't mind as long as I've got a roof over my head. Do you love him? Huh? Do you love him? <laughs> Do you love your mum? She's all right. I think you always take it for granted that they're going to be there, you know what I mean? And then one day they're going to die. I'll get plenty of money, I think. Right? That's, like, that's just an important thing, you know what I mean? My, my brother's always saying, like, oh, when mum and dad die, I'm going to get the money and all that, you know what I mean? Which is, yeah, which is stupid, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and like my mum says to me, whenever we're in an argument, she goes, yeah, when I die, I'm going to leave you nothing. Hey. I was like, oh, please, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Your mum wouldn't leave you nothing. She hates you. I know. Nah, she, she must want you alright, otherwise she wouldn't worry all the time, would she? Depends, doesn't it? Um, Depends. 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 Where's Paul living in flats? Yeah. I've got his money. No. Serious? You know what I'm thinking of? I'm living here, actually. Yeah. 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 Oh! God, that's right. Oh, I've had a few fights. This one? I've had nothing really that serious else. except for my bank, really. <laughs> And another turkey. She's not right. Is it this block? No, it's not. What block is it? It's not right there. That one back down. Yeah. That was about a year back. That was at a disco, and then that's when I turned skinheads, and I went up there with some mates, and the fight broke out. I tried to keep it out of it. I didn't want to know. I went downstairs to the end of the stairs, and I turned around to see what was happening. Somebody shouted me from the top of the stairs. I turned around, and someone came up and put a knife in my back. Do you know where four coin lives? Who? Coin. No. Philip, do you live in here? No, I live here. Oh, wait. 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 Oh
I don't know, because they pleaded not guilty or something. So then you've got to go to court all over again? I don't know, but yeah, within the next two weeks, I think. Where are you now? Well, I'm at home now. Alright, you better stay there because you won't find Harry today. Well, what's happened? Uh, he's out working. Yeah. So what shall I do then? You better start with Hunter today and I'll drive him and tell him to pick you up in the morning. Alright then. Hey! Hey! Come out, minute. Oh, John, yeah. Glue bag, look. You used to sniff glue. I don't know why I've ever done it. It's just something you like to try out a few times. You might, you get hooked on it for a while. Are you going over there? No. <laughs> we was doing it once downstairs. My dad came in and he sort of caught us at it. <laughs> he wouldn't talk to me for about two, three weeks after that. And, you know, I really felt low and everything. I was asking you, have you got your stuff on you? Yeah, you know, it's up to you, you know, pull yourself together or, or I never want to know you again. So I just did, I gave it up. It used to make you go back to things like uh, good things you, that happened to you in life, do you know what I mean? <laughs> This was in um, a hotel that we were staying in in Paris. It's Bernard. You see him? Yeah. You see him? How are you going? Come out with me. See, goblin people on the balcony. This was a, about. This is where the church was. This is where the bloke came up and had a proper go at us. I filmed him having a go at us. So he still started kicking Oh, that's not his car, so. Yeah. There it is. Mm. See the bloke come out, started at his mate. <laughs> <laughs> little, little fatty brownie. It's not earning yeah, See the bloke having a gun at us, look. Oh, that's some French punk we met over He's a skinhead now. So he's Patrick. See him? And the one with the beard, he's doing life in prison. Killed pushing on women and all that, didn't they? You know what I mean? And another time there was something caught for letting off these little bangers, all right? They just drop them on the ground and they blow up, all right? And all these little German tourists were letting off in Carnaby Street, all right? My mate let off one, four of us got nicked for it. Charged under the Explosives Act and then the Terrorist Act and all that, 1975 and all that shit. And then, like, was that been caught, all right? And case dismissed the game, wasn't it? You know what I mean? It's, it's just a waste of time and public money, <coughs> isn't it? It's pathetic. She's trying to keep us at the West End, isn't it? 
Oh yeah, in the summer they they, they hate you going out the West End. Do you know what I mean? All the tourists and all that. You don't know. like the tourists seeing you. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, the lot of pretend you don't exist, sort of thing. Same with anybody. You know what I mean? The only time the police have ever been all right was at Southall, I think. That was all. Because we helped them. It's because we helped them. If we hadn't helped them, they'd have got battered. Because we never liked running from the. Well, you know, people what was throwing petrol bombs. I mean, you know, we didn't run, right? They was running, and when we would come out and help them, right? They stood, and they was going, you know, thanks a lot, and all that, you know. And then the next day, you know, they, they can't admit that they can't do their own job, so they sort of like send the papers like that. But that was all our fault, and all I don't that. really blame them that way. I think it's just the fucking papers. It looks better for them to print that skins were chucking petrol bombs. Oh, yeah. Because if they say it was the fucking Pakistanis, right? Who's going to believe that? It looks better when we get the blame done, it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It just, just went through. It's true. I mean, if we got never, I mean, my mate, right, years was involved right. in the right in Batsy, right? He got four months, all right, for having a bottle in his hand, all right. And yet, what, what about all, 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 all the, you know, blacks and all that that get caught in the rights? You know, when they just let him off. And you know in mean? the interest of racial I mean, harmony, I mean, right? It's racial harmony, but it's going too much on their side. You know what I mean? Which is unfair. What about us? It's our country, isn't it? I mean, you won't have it, you know what I mean? Because what, what, whatever they say, they'd always be like, you know. You'll, you'll never get racial harmony because there's, there's always people that, you know, will never get on with the other kind. They've got too many people looking after them, ain't they? You know what I mean? They can see, go to these bodies and everything and if, if, voice a complaint. Yeah. We ain't got anywhere to go. Mm Yeah, it's been on all the old school weeks. Amy used to have all them old school weeks, didn't they? We're still, we're still got quite yeah. a few of them. Yeah, they're sort of more reggae, ain't they? Then? A lot of the kids nick the covers. And they? Mm. Oh, well, You've got to sort them all out, <laughs> see what's missing. Used to be a school, didn't you? Yeah. When, when you were young. Yeah. Right. 30 years ago. Didn't know they was out then. Yeah, not 30 years, are you? Mm. Norman Bates, Norman Bates, Norman Bates. Who's this? Mind you, the girls were better then. Were they? Yeah, they didn't look so butch. Butch? Yeah. I sort of had feather cuts, you know, and they wore their trousers longer. Are you listening? No. <laughs> you want to be? Yeah. Is that not in your imagination? No, no, no. They never wore boots either. Don't they wear moccasins. Yeah. They say you're not supposed to wear moccasins. What? Rockabillies wear moccasins. Yeah, but Skinner's did years ago. What about loafers? Uh, Monkey boots? No, not the girls, the boys. Boys used to wear monkey boots. Yeah, and the trousers right up and the braces. Girls won't wear braces. There's about two and there's one or two deaths and all. Eh? Hey? There's quite a few deaths and all. Deaths? Mm. What in feet? Bites, yeah. Drownings and all that. Yeah, because it was rockers then, wasn't it? What were you yeah. rockers, were you? Yeah, rockers. But they are chains, weren't they? All chains and... That's it, chains, adults. knuckle dusters, all <laughs> that they used to have, yeah. That's be terrible. Fate were mods. Um? Your fate were mods. No, we were mods first of all, and then, but the skinheads and mods never fought. Because we are, all were mods. Do and now. Sort of, well, do oh, now. they do now, yeah. Well, skinheads fight the mods. Mods don't fight the skinheads, do they? No. Northern mods do, but not the. Uh, London mods aren't respected, are they? Northern mods respected because they've been mm. mods for years. You know what I mean? And sort of more sort of scooter boys, you know, and they really do up their scooter as well. Yeah. Do you have a scooter? No, I used to ride on the back of them. Though. I'm getting one. Huh? Well, I've been saying I've been going to get one for a year, but <clears throat> it's never had the cash line, you know? We'll get them, Brett. I don't like the Vespers. Oh.
short one. It's right there. When I was a punk, I was a punk for a while, and people were scared shitless to go, look, he's got green hair or he's got red hair or whatever, and they really used to stop and stare. But now, I mean, I suppose because of the violence associated with it, skinhead's got a greater shock value. But I'd rather put my aggression out through my appearance than through my behaviour. I mean, there's geezers round here who look as normal as they come, and they're real bleeding psychos. When everyone's categorised, every bank manager looks at some and he's pinstripe with his briefcase. And his social workers all wear kickers and, like, hair and jumpers or whatever. And they've all got their own little certain sort of uniform. But they don't get picked out because it's an acceptable uniform. True. Well, I can't remember that, boys. Uh, could be right. I don't think that, boy. Something that follows you. Well, I applied for the police force. And that all fell through due to one reason or another. And I applied for the fire brigade and sent off nothing. I applied for the army as well. But I mean, like, I had quite a good education, yeah? And oh, they wouldn't take me as officer material. And they wanted to take me as cannon fodder. I was on the verge of taking eight O levels. Why should I be given the same rating as a guy who can't read and write? Yeah, right, Brad. Don't go and sort of on the top there. I don't know if that's to you, but I wouldn't have it done like the top. I mean, it's done the point of it at the top of that. Yeah, it's done. Eh? It's done like the show, doesn't it? Yeah, that's right, yeah. I wouldn't say I'm working clock. I'd say, to a certain extent, I am, due to the way I live and the area I live in. But. I mean, I come from a sort of the average middle-class, semi-detached background, you know. My dad's a civil servant. I don't mind admitting it. You know, the mum sort of goes, they go to church and everything. But you're not born into a class. You put yourself into what class you like. What colour should I put in the stars? Green. Green? I think red, actually. Oh, I don't I'm know. Sure but... Oh, you're chugging over right, can't you? Just red, right? Yeah. What might have some blue ones, actually? You got any blue red? I like that blue. Sorry. Yeah, that's it. My parents want the best for me because it's just a natural protective thing. They want the best for your own offspring, innit? And therefore, they think I'm wasting myself. I mean, maybe I am. But I feel that's up to me. It's my own choice. I'll do what I like. I've got no worry about getting up for work and, oh, is my work up to standard? Will I get the sack? I mean, no, no one can put me down any further because I'm ready at the bottom, aren't I? <laughs> The politics just, just holds no interest for me. When obviously I've I've been attacked for political reasons by, like, West Indians, you think, who've, who've been mugged into it the same as everyone else. Look, like, all geese with long hair are commies and all geese are with skinheads, they're, like, fascists. I mean, we've got a lot in common with the blacks from the point of view of fact we both get police pressure right and we both get spat on and we can't get jobs and we get kicked out of places. Them for their colour, which they can never change, right? And as for our appearance, which we can change. I mean, the strongest thing to be is male, white, middle class, and normal looking, isn't it? Because you've got it all in. People that go to all the duff matches, and they're the ones who are true supporters. They're not true supporters, I'm not going to see the football, am I?
What'd you go for? Fucking like play two pen, never around, go halfway up the country or base something. You've only got a walkway in the corner, haven't you? He's gonna leave his pub and slap somewhere. It's not my fault, you're sticking that right there. Oh. Oh. Sit down. Yeah. Oh, I don't believe you slept, man. You're welcome to your home, son. Oh, yeah. It's different, isn't it? Different, yeah. Stage is a blinder. Where is the stage? <laughs> That's what I mean, look. See that film with red tape on it? Yeah. Goes back, that's our stage. You've got to be on the carpet, all right? It's nice, I mean, yeah, I was expecting this in about five years' time or something. So once I played with us, boy, that's why we won't fight and die. Sure, tear out, face is hanging down. All the rest of them fucking big old been round the side, right? They're too scared to fucking dance, basically get bashed. Oh, alright, yeah. Yeah. All the fucking local mob round here, right? They're the wankers, they won't even fucking sit foot out of under there. Huh? Yeah, but it's all geezers written they like us, right? Isn't it? Like, yeah. Anyway, what? Dance. Yeah, dance, you can. Why, well, John, I'll go and swap. Why, well, John, you can't hey, dance. So, it's silly, cut some more, though. All geezers dance, right? Yes. 
Victorian times and all that, and that now we're just, we're just nothing, you know what I mean? Great Britain, shouldn't be Great Britain, should be pathetic Britain. We're nothing, you know what I mean? I mean, I, we're patriotic, you know what I mean? I think, I think the young white youth has got to try and get an identity of their own, you know what I mean? Most of them are just content to sit by and let this country slip down. <laughs> We're living 40 years in the past, you know? Because we ain't got a bottle to face up in 1982. But I mean, I mean, like, people in a situation, you know what I mean, when they're in panic will follow anybody that stands up and they feel as strong, you know what I mean? And, like, it will come to the situation, sort of, when uh, this three-party system's going to collapse, you know what I mean? And, and people will be looking for a new, new thing to follow, and then and certain people will move in. This is 1982, it won't be any better for you. You won't get a job anywhere, not unless you grow your hair. There's nothing here for me and you, not in 1982. We will still be Maggie's millions. The national debt will amount to billions. More police attention, more enforced detention. All of this is nothing new, not in 1982. Dresser. Don't know how you fancy that. Butcher's improver. Um, two years experience in butchery. Mm. So that one's out. Um, those ones don't supposed to be interesting, it's child minding. <laughs> Part-time cinema receptionist. 